More than three million people are expected to vacation in Wisconsin Dells this year, and this is the kind of thing they come here for. There's no shortage of enticements here. It's a kaleidoscope skyline of billboards, marquees, and emblems beckoning vacationers to part with their money. But this is the real sign of the times. The population of Wisconsin Dells is only about 4,000, not a big enough workforce for their summer needs. We need a lot of employees to fill all the needs of our visitors. About seasonal employees, about 7,000. So this year, among the thousands of young people working the hotels, rides, restaurants, and attractions, are more than a hundred Finns. We don't have any any job in Finland. That's a big difference, you know, with the USA and Finland. It all began for 24-year-old Jani Hapamaki when he saw a very unusual ad in a newspaper in Finland. I read, uh, Wisconsin needs over 100, you know, employees. To do, do work in here. Aya Tolmanen saw an ad too and saw a chance to continue her education in business. I think this is opportunity of my lifetime to be here. This unique program was the brainchild of Wisconsin University professor John Kluss. On a recent trip to Finland, he noticed one big difference. I said the only difference between Finland and Wisconsin is that you have 17 percent unemployment and we have three. The young Finnish workers work long hours but pay no taxes. They'll all return to Finland in September, and it may never be the same. These are things that do not exist in Finland, and um, there's a possibility that some of them will become entrepreneurs and, and follow what's going on here. In Wisconsin Dells, this is Jason Davis reporting.